E3 2016 is happening. Kind of Funny's going all out with Let's Plays and reaction videos all week long. Subscribe now at youtube.com slash kind of funny games to not miss a thing. What's up everybody? Welcome to another Kind of Funny Reacts here on youtube.com slash kind of funny games E3 edition. Mm. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Pride Along on Colin mm. Moriarty. Go Jets. Go Jets indeed. Colin, mm. we've almost talked over all this show of Mass Effect right. Andromeda. Yeah, fuck EA. Fuck no, yeah. but, in, 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 but in reality, uh, this was a massive, major disappointment. Sure. And to me, them not showing more of the game, not having more to say about it, not even having a release date, that it was out of left field for me. Mm -hmm. uh, more than anything else that happened. You were prepared for the full-on reveal, release date. It was date, obvious. Go. Yeah. I think something's, I don't want to say something's wrong with the game, but I think, I think it's obvious that they have one of, two, one of two things going on. They said we'll have more in the fall. So either this can indicate that they're going to have a Mass Effect blowout in the fall, maybe have a Mass Effect event of some sort where they announce the game, they show the game for the first time. They could also be indicating as like 1A that maybe the game is coming out this fall, but I don't, no I, way. I, but no I don't think way. so either. I think what this indicates is that this game is way further out than, than we had anticipated, way further out than EA thought it was going to be when they announced it last year, and it was supposed to be out, I think, this fall. Um, so uh, that was m really disappointing because Mass Effect Andromeda is one of my most anticipated games. I 100%. love Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I wanted to see more. So what we what we saw isn't really even important. We know the it looks back good. in it. It looks great. It's running on Frostbite, yeah, yeah. which is interesting. I like what they're talking about. Of like, we've been wondering how the story is going to go. We are humanity's last hope. We are the la we are the alien in Andromeda. Clearly, mm. I mean, from the way she wakes up at the end of the trailer, I'm assuming the story is we're launched from the Mass Effect world we know before everything goes to hell. Right. We're launched out and like, all right, you got to go and try to craft the next thing. We're going to get there and eventually hit the button and try to communicate back and not be able to. It's very Battlestar Galactica-ish in a way sure. where Battlestar Galactica is about, you know, the remaining humans that are trying to survive and find a place to call home after the yeah. Cylons wiping out. It's not really what happened here, although kind of is. The Reapers kind of do their business in yeah. Mass Effect 3. Uh, but what we saw, yeah, beautiful. We see the return of terrain exploration on planets uh, in the Andromeda Galaxy with Mako. Or a Mako type vehicle. Sure. Uh, you got the new, the new Tempest ship. Yep. Yeah, we there's some new ships. I mean, it looks really great. Yeah. But where is it? Like, what? When are we going to see more of it? I mean, that was that was my major question with this. It's, I love you know. I know a lot of people don't like Dev Diary shit and seeing the studios. I like seeing that kind of stuff. It's just like when that is the replacement for real news. footage and information, and you're just leaving us hanging about a game that. Um, People are really anticipating, I think, maybe not as much as Battlefield, but in, in, in terms of the hardcore audience, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this represents this game represents the dichotomy of EA's presentation more than anything else, which is like games that are imminent that we know about, like Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1, they, and FIFA and Madden and all the annualized games that you know are going to be there, and you, you know, it's like whatever. And then, But the anticipated games like Star Wars and Mass Effect, they have nothing to say about them. The future is bright for EA with all these studios working on these games, and obviously Bioware doing a fantastic job, I'm sure, on the new Mass Effect, but you have to have something to say. It makes you wonder if EA should have even had a conference at all. And, that, I, and that's that was, the big and, thing we know. talked about during the, the uh, post-show Kind of Funny Games cast available on YouTube, is the fact, I was like, I think that this was such a half step from them, of like, trying try to make a big deal, we're not going to E3, but we're at E3. And then, like, you should have been totally renegade of like, we're doing EA Play, you can come play Titanfall, uh, it's open to the public, and that's it. No press conference. Mm. We're not ready for any of it. You know Madden's going to be great. You know Battlefield's going to be great. You know Titanfall's right. going to be great. But yeah. yeah. And yeah, and we know Mass Effect's going to be great, right? Yeah. And that was, that was the... It's just... And, and take your time. I have no problem with the studio taking all the time they need. A, yeah. a great studio like Bioware um, taking all the time that they need to craft this, this quest and this, this vision that they have for this new game. I have no problem with that at all. What I have a problem with is, is developers, or publishers really, it's not even the developers, it's the publishers announcing these games way too early, putting a gun against the developers' heads to reach these time frames that are, un, that are clearly unrealistic, yeah. and they have nothing to show for it. Mm -hmm. This happens mm -hmm. over and over again. And we saw that also, as we're not going to get into it too much, but we might as well since we're talking about sci-fi and space. And I know that, by the way, you don't like sci-fi settings, so you're not going to play Mass Effect, obviously, but... But the but the star but Mass Effect Two changed the world because Mass Effect One, bad game. Mass Effect Two, amazing. Mass Effect One wasn't a bad game. Mass Effect One was a bad game if you don't like video games. No, that's not a game. But, I like games. I but care, right? uh, I love to Lego Dimensions. But to me, uh, we see this. It, this is indicative of not only what's happening with Bioware, the two Bioware studios, with EA, but also with the way they're treating Star Wars now, where it's just like yeah. little breadcrumbs and like just fuck off. You should not have Go a press back, conference. Make your game. And this come is, tell me about and it. And this is the painful thing about it is that Electronic Arts, I think, much like Ubisoft, make high caliber games typically in the AAA space. Yeah. And I really do believe that. But this, this is there's a dissonance between their presentation and the actual quality of, I'm sure, of these games. And I, I, I agree with you as we were saying and as we were talking about, they probably should have had a no show. And I feel like the, the press conference was scattered and all those kinds of things. And Mass Effect fell victim yeah. of yet another early announce. 
premature announce. Learn from Bethesda. I'll keep saying it over and over again. Learn from it. Everyone needs to learn from them. I mean, final point, I think, with them talking about you know more to come in the fall, what I immediately jump to is Game Awards, PSX, something like that. Because yeah. I don't know what you're putting in. I mean, Paris New Games York Week, Comic-Con? maybe. Comic-Con? Like, well, yeah, but I feel like that's still like... That's end of summer, beginning of fall, which counts, mm. but like, is... Do you really want to send an EA Bioware game to Paris? I think they're going to have an event. Yeah. And I think that that's fine and that's appropriate. But don't expect that everyone's going to be... I mean, they, they're not stupid people. We know the people at EA. They're not stupid at all. They're actually quite smart them. people. And I think that they probably had to have known that this was going to be a huge dud. Sure. Um, and if they didn't, then they, they are tone deaf. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we think of Mass Effect Andromeda. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Share the video with your friends. And of course, subscribe. Because here on YouTube.com slash KindOfFunnyGames, we have so much E3 2016 content coming from you all week long. Is it crazy shit? Jury's out. We're not sure. Hey, we got the sweet logo, though, <laughs> of the Mass Effect game you're going to play in two years. That was announced way too early. Have fun. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.